Hello everyone. It's Yusuf back again also with another tutorial. Today we are diving into the second part of our uh, series on constructing a structural model and Revit or an analytical model. If you missed the first part where we created the structural model, you can find the link in the description below. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going uh, will be focusing on adding uh, dead and life load to our model and how we can calculate them. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel because your support means everything to me and ensure you won't miss any of my future tutorial. So let's dive right in. I already opened for you the structural model or analytical model that we did it in the last tutorial. If you missed this tutorial, I will put the link in the description below. So uh, how we can calculate the uh, dead load? Uh, for calculating dead load, um, usually uh, it depends for the material that we are going to, we are using. It's steel or concrete, uh, e, etc. So self weight, it's equal to density times volume so for the water example it's 1000 kilogram meter uh, per me 1000 kilogram per meter cube which means it's 10 kilo a newton per meter cube why this is it's very important because we are adding in revit usually in uh, 10 kilo a newton per meter cube for concrete it's 2400 for a steel it's 7850 kilogram per meter cube which is mean is 78.5 kilo newton per meter cube now and this is our structural model i'm not going to calculate the specific number we are just going to add like a number just to show you how to do it and in future i'm going to uh, make exercise to how to calculate exactly the dead load so uh well, i'm going to uh, level one i'm going to analyze loads uh, for i want to add the dead load of the beam so uh, this is i'm going to choose uh, dl dead load and here it, i will say that it should be maybe minus for uh, 0.45 uh, kilo newton per meter or you can make it more so uh, i'm just going to add uh, directly our uh, dead load for the beam you see uh, I choose a chain if you don't choose chain you need to do it one by one so now for me it's more easy to uh, to check the chain method and also I want to add here here okay i think we still have one more here and that's it sorry okay so now we add our uh, uh, dead load for the beams what we have to do also we need to add uh, the the uh, dead load for the slab that we did it so i'm going to uh, also uh, click on the area as I you see what I did I did let's close it and I will go to analysis load and I'm not going to choose line I'm going to choose by area load so I'm going to choose a rectangular and that's it so how much the dead load for here I will choose it for our slab it's like minus 0 0.5 0 0.25 uh, kilonewton per meter square again I will tell you that this is not the exact number I'm just going to show you how to add the loads so I will press ok uh, it's better for you to uh, to mark them and say that I will make copy just to save time and make it for level uh, 2 ok also i'm going to select this one and uh, i will make copy for level two this okay just to save time i already show you how to do it uh, now we need to we need to delete this one sorry 
Uh, now I'm going to add uh, life load. How we can cal calculate life load? As you can see here in the screen, uh, to calculate the life load, usually for domestic house, uh, it's like 1.5 kilonewton per meter square, which is 150 kilogram per meter square. For offices, uh, 3 kilonewton per, and lecture room, 3 kilonewton per meter square. And for grand distance, it's 5 kilonewton per meter square, which is 500 kilogram meter square. So, uh, again, as I told you, I'm not going to, uh, to put the exit number, just I'm going to show you how to add the life load. I'm going to add loads, and here I'm going to change to life load, as you see, and I will choose by area. Let's make it by rectangular method and let's put it like uh, minus 0.42 kilonewton per meter square I'm going to make apply also I will make it for a level 2 also go to uh, area load I will change it for uh, life load and again I'm going to choose by rectangular method and press uh, OK so if I'm going to analytical model you will see that uh, our model have the life load of the beams and the slab uh, sorry the dead load of the beam and the slab also the life load uh, next video I'm going to explain about how to add the earthquake load uh, please, uh, I hope this is, was very useful and interesting for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because this is, will help me a lot. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.